Le Ballet Trocadero de Monte Carlo, often known simply as the Trox, they build themselves as the world's foremost all-male comic ballet company. They perform entrevisti, am I saying that right, entrevisti? Entrevisti. Entrevisti, dressed as the opposite sex, right? And the Trox right now are back at the Joyce Theater in Chelsea. Joining me now to discuss the season's show is Ugo Churi, am I saying the last name right? Churi. Churi, okay. Yes. And Rafaela... Mora. Mora. Yes. Thank you both for being here Thank today. Thank you for being here. Uh, I appreciate it. So this is your first time back full three weeks exactly. post-COVID. Exactly. Yes. Because you were back last we year. We tried last year, but unfortunately <laughs> Omicron was stronger than we did. Uh, Omicron <laughs> was strong last year. Yes. Yeah. So, so tell, tell us about, I guess, let's talk about the trucks in general. What? Let's start with you because you are ballet master, exactly. correct? Yes. Rafa, yes. Um, what, what, what are the trucks all about? Why, what makes this show different than everything you've seen before? Well, it's different because it's a quite different ballet company yeah we are uh, just like the the company says we are an all-male comedy ballet company and you know to take something as serious as ballet and to change it into something comedic say, yeah is comedy and ballet unique. don't really no and usually dancers take ourselves th themselves very seriously and it's very difficult to break from the rules of classical ballet and just go with the the humor of uh, that we can put on stage so with the how have you been able to make it work then how, how have you been able to make it funny make ballet funny <laughs> Once again, I think just not taking ballet so seriously. Okay. Of course, seriously when it comes to the physical activity. Uh -huh. So we do ballet properly, we train properly, and then we just have a lot of fun with it. The main purpose of the company is to bring a lot of fun to the performance and to have a lot of fun with the audience. Amazing. And yes. uh, Ugo, tell me about the show this year. Now, there's, there's two programs, as I understand it, right? Program A, Program B. Tell us what the differences are, what it's all about, and what people can see if they go to the Joyce this year. So program A, which happened last week and is happening after the 31st, okay. um, includes Swan Lake and Mahissimas, okay. which is um, a parody of um, a Cuban ballet, so yes. it has more of that Spanish flair, uh, which I get Paquita does too. In program B, it's Les Silfids and Paquita. Paquita is our big um, is the money maker, I would say, right? It's, <laughs> yes, our, yes. it's a very important truck staple, um, and it's exciting shows for the audiences. I think two very different programs to come and watch. And, and you do a lot of parodies of classic ballets, yes. right? Is, is that sort of is that the formula that sort of you followed over the years, or does yes. it, are there new are there new brand new original works as well? For the company, yes, we don't do them this year at the Joyce. We don't sure. have anything completely new. Um, but yes, the company also has original pr production just for the company. Oh, awesome. They were choreographed just for us with the humor in mind. Okay. Instead of taking something so serious and they have okay. add the humor on top of it. So performing in Travesti, is, is it fair, is it accurate to say it's kind of like doing drag? Or do you not like to say that? We don't like to say, but it's correct. <laughs> yeah. But okay. why don't we like to say? Because we don't really try to dress as women. We try to dress as ballerinas. And we tackle okay. all the idiosyncrasies of ballerinas. Especially those old style ballerinas uh, from the uh, 19th century. It's not even the modern dancer ballerinas, you know, okay. like really with the old the dramas they could they could have, yeah. and they were ballerinas on and off stage, you know, those kind of ballerinas. And we're looking at a little video here of yes. some of the pre-show work that goes into it. Ugo, how much time does it take to transform before a show? I would say. A comfortable time would be about an hour and a half. Ooh, okay. Um, sometimes we only get an hour, so that's when you figure out how to speed the process up. But yes, about an hour and a half to really get into full makeup, put the wig on, do the van, and put the costume on. Amazing. Well, thank you both for being here today. Ugo, Rafaela, appreciate so it. Much. Go check out the trucks. They're going to be at the Joyce Theater in Chelsea until January 8th, right? January yes, 8th? correct. Yes. All right.